So as you might know if you follow me, I have a chronic respiratory failure because of my diaphragm weakness. Diaphragm weakness comes up when you do a pulmonary test that's called an MIP for inhale and an MEP for exhale. So mine are, are pretty low. I have shortness of breath. I have problems um, sleeping. I'm on a non-invasive ventilator overnight so I can breathe. So my fabulous doctor, Dr. Michael Shapiro, retired, and my new fabulous doctor is Dr. Elizabeth Rosenthal with UT Health, um, and she is fabulous. She decided to kind of look at my case with fresh eyes and do some new testing. So I've never had this pulmonary test that looks at how my diaphragm moves. Uh, it's called the sniff test. They look to see if you have paralysis of one or both sides of your diaphragm. So I don't have any paralysis, but it does show that I have weakness on the right side of my diaphragm and that my left side compensates by being really strong um, while my right side is very weak. There's something so validating about having physical evidence that nobody can deny that it's right there in front of them. I'm not making it up. My mind doesn't make this happen. I've been told my whole life that my breathing issues were in my head and it's just so damaging and gaslighting to people. So thank goodness for fabulous doctors who look beyond and find the issues. Thank goodness for Dr. Shapiro originally finding this and then Dr. Rosenthal for looking more closely at it. So um, I feel good that we know where the issue is. It looks like it could be that my right phrenic nerve is um, has been affected by ALS, but um, it could be other things as well. So um, I've sent the information over to my ALS specialists, both in Austin and in Mass General, uh, and we'll see where we go from here.